Hi, I'm Torben Janssen from thoughtsonjava.org with a new Hibernate tip. This time I will show you how to define a query-specific timeout so that your query gets cancelled if it doesn't return after a certain amount of time. JPA and Hibernate allow you to set a query timeout as a hint, but Hibernate doesn't handle the timeout itself. It just sets it on the JDBC statement. You therefore need to make sure that your JDBC driver and database support query-specific timeouts. If that's the case, you can provide the timeout in the same way as any other query hint. You can see two code samples here on the slide. If you are using a JPQL or Criteria query, you have to call the setHint method on the query interface and provide the name of the hint, which is javax.persistence.query.timeout and the timeout value in milliseconds. And if you are using the entity manager find method, you can provide a map with query hints as an additional parameter. This map stores the name of the query hint as the key and the timeout as the value. You can see an example of it in the second code snippet. Okay, that's it for today. If you want to learn more about Hibernate, you should join the free Thoughts on Java library. It gives you free access to a lot of member-only content like an ebook about Java 8 support in Hibernate, lots of cheat sheets, and a video course. I'll add the link to it to the video description below. See you next week for a new Hibernate tip, and if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below.